What was the last name of King Arthur? It's kind of strange to think of historical or mythical figures having last names like we do. Now I'm sitting here in Portland, Oregon, and this question comes up, making me wonder if I should be called Scott of Portland or something. But let's get back to Arthur. For starters, the legend of King Arthur is a tapestry of myths, folklore, and bits of historical fabric. So, pinning down something as concrete as a last name is going to be tricky. Last names weren't really a thing until the last several hundred years, and King Arthur is said to date back to late 5th and early 6th centuries. What most people don't realize is that back then, surnames were more descriptions than actual family names. They told of one's occupation, place of residence, or father's name. You had John the Baker or Erickson, which just meant Eric's son. As for Arthur, legend does not provide him with a last name. He's not Arthur Pendragon. Instead, Pendragon is a title that means chief dragon or head dragon, with pen meaning head, and dragon being well dragon. His father, according to tales like Geoffrey of Monmouth's History of the Kings of Britain, was Uther Pendragon. Even then, Uther wasn't walking around with Pendragon on his mailbox. It was more of a moniker that signified his status, or perhaps instilled a bit of fear and respect. People would hear Pendragon and think, that's a man not to be trifled with like a medieval version of a heavyweight champion's nickname. So if someone says, King Arthur's last name was Pendragon, they're mixing up titles with surnames. And if that mix-up ever gets you into a heated debate at one of Portland's local pubs, remember to keep it friendly. It's just Arthur, after all, not a question of whether we exist in a giant hologram. Though that would be an exciting debate, too. For now, let's remember King Arthur for the legend he is, surname or lack thereof, and all.